He is a local comedy legend. And he just happens to be one of my best friends. Y'all give it up for Justin Woodward! Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going! Well, goodness, last night with just a crazy. Hell yeah. yeah so, man. for those of you, I, I'm pretty sure all you guys know, okay? Uh, Justin opened up for Jim Brewer last night. Woo. And, Hell yeah. And, uh, and fucking killed. Did a, did a fantastic job. Flaw. With, with limited, with limited uh, time and also limited resource. Like, you know, we, we had to Limited tone it down time a to bit. prep. Yeah. A little bit limited prep time yeah. and then also. <laughs> you know. Also, it just wasn't it wasn't my normal thing. No, it was uh, d definitely the uh, the biggest stage we've ever been on, and our dream came true of because uh, I also hosted the show. Yeah, <laughs> and our dream came true of just doing it at the Civic Center. And uh, you know, I'm not going to give too much behind the scenes stuff, but we will say shout out to Herb. Um, <laughs> shout out Herb. Herb was just a him just him just the greatest. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's Jim's father in law, and we hung out with him. We partied all night. <laughs> we did. We partied until about six o'clock. Yeah. When he said that I can't have another glass, or I'll just be assed up, <laughs> face down. You know. Yeah. And and so Herb is now the opposite of Lil Eric. So if anything's ever goaded, it's going to be Herb. Yeah. You know, like Yeah. We got a picture of him. Uh it may it may or may not have been the fucking thumbnail, but whatever. It should be the thumbnail. It is the thumbnail. Yeah. So um, <laughs> but mean, also we're going to just uh also do the do the gimmick right here where you can see some miscellaneous photos we took. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so there you go. Just a whole, just a whole split second break for yeah. us to go. Skip. Yeah. No, nah, man. This weekend was dope, but I'm exhausted as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It was I, tiring. Man, to think that we fucking we we opened for Casey Rocket and Jim Brewer in ten days. Yeah. I mean, and we didn't even know it was coming when we met Casey Rocket. We probably would have told his goofy ass. Yeah. You know? Casey, Casey, I know you're not listening, but like sometimes <laughs> I wish you were. If you were, just send me a picture of Grimace's dick. Yeah, okay? dude. Like, well, hell, we'll get Grimace on the pod. I don't even care <laughs> at this point. I mean, fuck. Uh, that would be a pretty good pull. I don't. E I don't even. I mean, well, I think he's. I if and and, I think uh, I think, I think Grimace is a little bit developmentally delayed. Yeah. So I think in order before we get Grimace on, we should get somebody else who's developmentally delayed. All right. So that way it's okay for us to have Grimace on. You see? Uh, sure. Like maybe Jared Nathan. You remember that guy? Uh, from Kill Tony. From Kill Tony, yeah. Yeah, Canadian. Yeah. Uh, he's got, I mean, he he himself says that he's developmentally disabled, right? I mean, he uses, or delayed, delayed. He uses the R word, so I mean. You well, know, you know, in, in I just comedy, think in, I think if we can. Uh, we're gonna call you out, Jared Nathan. We want you on the podskin. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And uh, and we want to talk to you and not get impatient. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll so let you just just take it. To, take to, your take, time. Yeah, we'll only get three questions in, but we want you to be here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. And uh, and then once we get you, we're coming after the big boy himself, Grimace. Yeah, you know, dude. once we once we fill you out, we you know, you just a you just a flesh colored Grimace, really. <laughs> like he's very grimacey. He is. Um, <laughs> he he also has a shake. I, I was just about to say I also want to see him shake. 
<laughs> you know, but that might be a regular thing for him. So Justin saw me shake when he broke into the bathroom door last night <laughs> while I was pissing. <laughs> I was talking on the other side of the door in the, the green room. <laughs> no big deal. And uh, he was like, flut. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and I thought it would be funny because I pictured the toilet being on the, like his back, I thought his back was going to be to me and he was going to be five feet away. And uh, his side was to me, and he was five inches away, <laughs> and five inches long. And um, and I just I I did this right here. I said, <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't looking. Clean off the walls. I wasn't really looking. I but I did. I did. Uh, I was impressed with what I saw. So he didn't like it. He was real pissed. And I was like, buddy, <laughs> I, I didn't mean really, to do that. I was really pissed. <laughs> but when I opened the door, <laughs> the whole gimmick was, I was like, what I said was. <laughs> but no, like, I, no, I got it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know. <laughs> um, and and then, then I just locked the door every time after that. <laughs> I was not fucking with you. I just pissed with the door open, so I don't, I've never gave a fuck, dude. Like, Ronnie Rutt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we been said we wasn't going to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Guys, we know. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> All right, <laughs> introducing my sound bar. <laughs> Power off. <laughs> Uh, we Skeeping. said last week that we weren't, you know, we know that we were watching football and getting too distracted last week. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> you know, it happens it's only because Joshua Dobbs was so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> like that was really it. We couldn't get over it. Yeah. It was just a he's just an ugly son of a bitch. He is. Uh, he just just looks like a fresh scoop of creamy peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Just barely any facial features. <laughs> like, yeah, he's just do just do a dollop of uh, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, no, nah, he, he he looks like uh, fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like claymation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prometheus and Bob Skin. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he's got a little Bob in him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, that shit was awkward. Yeah. Like that that humor, like you either got it or you didn't, boy. Oh, like that it. shit was funny, dude. Prometheus, that, shout out Prometheus and Bob. No, it was yeah. funny. Was that part of uh, 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 what was it called? Kablam. Kablam. Yeah, it was part of Kablam. Real Fucking '90s kids shit. Oh, this will be clippable, <laughs> guys. <laughs> did you know that Nickelodeon is like really fucking struggling right now? Did you know that? No, skin. I heard that they were like. Like closing their doors, like all over the place. Like it's it's about over with. Not Nickelodeon. Fuck. Fuck. Why the fuck did I? <laughs> Cartoon Network skin is what I was trying to say. Wah, but zip it. Yeah, we washy foo. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That give that that's it's never, never gonna, gonna not yeah, pop yeah, me, yeah. man. No, Nickelodeon, dude. I mean, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a fartoon, fartoon network, but they're done with, dude. That I sucks. Mean, well, all they showed for the last 28 years was Teen Titan Go. <laughs> yeah. So you, what do you expect? Nobody likes that hey, shit. Hey, no, hold on now. <laughs> real all shit. Right. Hold on, real shit. Teen Titans Go to the Movies is one of the highest rated animated or like reviewed mov animated movies of all time. And it actually slaps. It's, oh, yeah. Okay. It's very meta. It's very like self aware. Yeah. And it it has a very good storyline. And then the humor in it's just kind of like it also works. Hmm. It's not like the cartoon where it's just like, bow, 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 bow. Yeah. You know? No, I was just, I was just joking. I mean, the cartoon doesn't suck. I just, it's like more <laughs> shit, dude. You need more shit. Like, what happened to the 90s uh, anyway? Guys, you'll be happy to know that I finally get this, get this, uh, get this woo track ready. Oh, right? <laughs> God. Guys, you'll be happy to know that I finally was able to fit my, my entire dick inside of a Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I mean, lengthwise. Like, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still got a little bit of ways to go before, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But, like, I got in there. Yeah, yeah. There was a little bit of room left, Skin, but, Hell like, yeah. you know. Shout out your fleshlight bit that I just uh, stole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And that's funny because I call people out for stealing people's material all the time. <laughs> and my just fleshlight's bit's fun. My, fle my, ble my, fu my funny bit is fleshlight yep. because it's true. I do like you. <laughs> you've got a nice scented funny bit, just to be honest with you. 
I didn't think it was going to smell. I thought it was going to smell kind of like other funny bits. It's, but like, ja- it's jasmine scented. I mean, it's probably it, I know it cost you about three or four dollars more, but like that was money well spent. Yeah. You know, and then here's a guy in a bunny fit. So um, we also uh, <laughs> we're also running a bunny fit right now. If you want to donate to it. Yeah. Um, for our Flocomon cards. So, guys, Squant's taken off at, a, like, just irremarkable pace right now. Yeah, except with my mother-in-law and Adam. Yeah, guys. They both said, fuck Squant. Yeah, neither one of y'all are ever going to see this, but it, <laughs> it's fine. It's, yeah. <laughs> just one of them's my best friend and one of them's your mother-in-law. It's yeah. not like it's, you know, it's not like it's anybody important. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, guys. You should have been like, one of them's my best friend and one of them's Adam. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a Flaw, joke. that would have gotten her to watch it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Be like, you know, Corey said that you were his best friend on there. (laughs) And then I'd be like, it was also a bit (laughs) skin. Well, the graphic will pop up. Yeah. (laughs) Also, sorry for uh, not popping that graphic up last week. Uh, That's on me. (laughs) Which one? The one that said everything is a bit, especially if it isn't a bit. If we say it's a bit, not a bit, bit. Yeah, well, that was on him. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's um, why I apologize. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm just making sure. You didn't have to make me feel like piece of shit for bringing it up twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you knew what I was talking about the first time. Hey, between Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yep. Um, fuck Mary Kill, and let's add. We'll just add in. We'll just add in. Uh, um, the old guy, the uh, Hank Hillskin. Anderson. Mis- yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck Mary Kill. All right. So. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Am I a top or bottom? I don't know, dude. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> they're act just like, a lot. Act, act like I don't know. They're just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody at the Civic Center was like, "They so gay, boy." Yeah, mental health skin. While we were hugging, the cop was over there, like, "What? What about a couple of fuck about mom dead?" Like, all right, I don't care. <laughs> nah, I don't either. Yeah, we was just a hugging, guys. Well, it was a well, big fucking deal, you know. It was because it, it really was. We just got through fucking in the green room, and we were just emotional. That's actually, and what's weird is that Justin and I. Okay, I will say this part. All right, Justin and I had fucked so like raw, yeah, and just a just a sweaty, yeah. That we asked the Civic Center, could they turn the air conditioner all the way down because it stunk backstage. <laughs> And like it was just very like kind of uh, uh, humid. They gave us showers to the, though. To the point where, by the time like Jim and his people got there, so we had opened up the door because we had to let the stank out. Yeah. By the time Jim and Herb got there, <laughs> you know, they they was just a freezing. They wondered why our door was open. Yeah. And then when Jim and, and Herb walked in, and we said, "Well, we just got done fucking." So yeah. You know, and then, um, and then when Jim was doing like his '80s metal impression, he was like, "Are you ready to get the stink out?" <laughs> you know, we were like, and we, then also when he did that impression, we just went and fucked again. Yeah, <laughs> so, we're like more stank for you, buddy. You're never gonna. Yeah, get out of here. you don't want you don't want this now. Nah, but uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to me being constipated for a week due to cheese concerns. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert: It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it also wasn't Herb. So, are you fucking marrying or killing Aunt Mr. Anderson? <laughs> like, okay. So, if I Mr. All right. Anderson is that his name for real? Because we—that's also the guy from the Matrix. That's a different guy. Well, Anderson is what they call okay. him. Okay. All right. Like, yeah. You would know, Skin. So, <laughs> all right. So I would fuck Beavis like any day of the week. If I was just a fucking, I'd fuck the shit out of Beavis. Okay. Because give him a little couple couple cups of coffee, <laughs> yeah, and if yeah. and if I'm a bottom, him just a, brrr, yeah, just you a, know, just a yeah power drill. But then also, if I'm a top skin, it'll turn him into vibrate mode <laughs> and just you know, <laughs> yeah. Like, don't don't put your shirt over your head, Beavis. I want to pull that hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And butthead, you uh, definitely had to put a bag over that head. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> You're like, no, nah, dude. Butthead is uh, dying. <laughs> like, I'm kill- yeah, I'm killing butthead because... <laughs> because butthead just a mean bitch sometimes. 
He also looks too much like Luke Bryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's a meme, but it fucking it's goddamn. I can't unsee it at all. It's impossible to unsee. He kind of he kind of looks like less attractive Cam. <laughs> I'll give it to Cam. He's a decent looking dude, you know, but Butthead's not. <laughs> so Yeah, he's a real swashbuckling guy. Yeah, I mean he definitely doesn't give off like I just hung out with a bunch of seventeen year old vibes. <laughs> no, dude, he definitely doesn't give off a uh I'll DJ your party for th- thirteen dollars vibes. He definitely doesn't give off a vibe of if I come out to the island you gotta pay me a hundred and twenty five an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Grah, bitch, I'm back. <laughs> he definitely doesn't give off the vibe of uh, I'm just posting about these little lyrics because they're popular as fuck now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a, I'm just a dick riding. Goodness. Oh, nobody's been doing that at all. No, dude. no, there's definitely not been anybody who's fired us <laughs> yeah. that's come back around recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, we, I don't know what to do. <laughs> fuck it. Also, <laughs> here we go, dude. Buddy. Blair Witch and everybody right now. We're not big leaguing you guys. We just. Uh, it's all a bit. It's just mostly. funny. <laughs> it's just it's it's a bit, but it's also true. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> well, yeah, it just, it just happens. You know, when you <laughs> open for up for Jim Brewer. <laughs> Suddenly, you're everybody's best fucking friend. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. It's just crazy the amount of no- people who just cared about it after it happened. I think well, they thought ca- it was a fucking joke until it happened. That's why I made the joke. You didn't think the ant was bluffing, did ya? Yep. you? Yep. I also think-, think we're adopting the- an ant as our fucking our spirit animal skin. Anyways, can just major rebranding right in front of your <laughs> eyes, guys. Real. This is a behind the scenes conversation. We should no, be having. You guys, if you be- if you like ants, just ant below. Yeah, just ant all over and the ant, comment ant, section. Ant, ant, because yeah. you know the thing about ants is, um, they're they're stupid, but they're but they get shit done, and uh, they can lift seven times their weight or whatever, <laughs> and we can also do that. Yeah. So. We, you know, we bonded together, and we built a colony. And they're also distant cousins of Squint. Leia. So, I mean, Well, Squint's like, really the inspiration behind it all. Let's be real. Yeah, Squint is actually, you know, <laughs> Squint, I don't even think I'm allowed to talk about it. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Guys, I'm just saying, <laughs> ant emoji, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't yep. know. It's yeah. definitely not ripping off Casey Rock. No, all. no, no. Well... The thing is, I don't walk out there and go like... But I, I probably good. would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's coming, guys. Ain't yeah, big. we're just going to... costumes du- next year for We're just going to duct tape ourselves together like a horse <laughs> and just come out as an ant. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll let you decide who's going to be the front and who's going to be the back skin. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll volunteer for the back skin. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I've I'll been gladly, wanted to... I'll gladly walk backwards. I've been <laughs> wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to sniff your ass like a dog for No, I was talking about night. literally walking backwards so you would be duct taped to the front. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. they're just like, what are they doing? <laughs> and my knees just a bending forward like that. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness. Oh, and we're having to pretend to be an ant while, uh, you know, you just, a, you know, <laughs> you, you just, a, you just a putting on a chat stick, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out to the crowd. Hey, if there's any of y'all that was in the crowd at the uh, Jim Brewer show last night, um, Everybody no, shout, shout out to, to the people us. that supported us and the ones that, you know, are vocal on Facebook and everything. We do see everything. Uh, even if we we don't acknowledge it, but yep. uh, specifically Brandon, <laughs> Brandon is uh, overtaking Spud as like the pod's number one fan right now. Yeah. Uh, just because he's up to date, not because Spud doesn't fuck yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah. But shout out, uh, okay, Mental Health Skin. Shout out to Spud for uh, booking that big show in Mobile. Hell yeah! Uh, this Friday. Hell so, yeah! Hell yeah! What's wrong? The our autographed. Uh, Bowder, Bowser and BDSM just says <laughs> okay it's time for a break so uh, and then after that you know now we can pick it back up so yeah. Spud is now you know Spud's now just going to be taking over the scene and I yeah. think uh, 
I mean, I th- for that level, I think I think that's. I mean, <clears throat> that's one way to put it. I would just say like he he's going to increase his role, and uh, you know, um, him him deserves it. Him, but we're still going to be around. We're sweet. We're just going to be working on other things that. <laughs> You yeah, know. earlier when I said that uh, he had a he had a show coming up this Friday uh, in pod time, it's already passed. <laughs> but yeah. in our time, it's this Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So whatever. Yeah, but uh, no, I I'm proud of him because we've always been fans of his. He's always been fans. A uh, uh, big, the biggest fan of the pod. He dressed up as our fucking character. Yeah, he did. For Halloween. That was humbling. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, hell yeah. And if any of you guys ever want to dress up as our guy from Halloween skin, you can send us pictures. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, send us pictures yes. or just meet us at the Clarion. <laughs> yep. Um, um, every, what is, what are we changing now to, babe? Tuesday nights? That's right. Room every 213. Two, 213? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so room 213 is the one furthest back there. It is just all the way back towards Hardy's. It's so, also the same as Dahmer's apartment number, but that's just coincidental. You already knew that. Well, it is. Yeah. Great to know, bud. Yeah, it's weird. Anything, you know, I looked it up. You, you've been really Dahmer heavy lately, buddy. Really? Any, anything you need to... <laughs> Mr. Well, <laughs> anything you want to talk about, dude? <laughs> like, yeah, I ain't I'm hungry. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> Just want to eat some dude's ass, you know, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I also could go for some roasted butt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boasted rut skin. <laughs> Leg skin. <laughs> hey, man, Ross, if you're still watching the pod, bro. <laughs> Just know sometimes we think about coming and seeing you, and then we change our mind because we think she's just going to yell at us. <laughs> All right. But but we also gave you a squint, and we left you a squint, buddy. We did. Did you get one? We did. And we if that bitch if that bitch stole your squint, you comment below, and I'll make sure that I fucking get you one, man. Yeah, dude. Because that shit's going to be worth some money one day, and there's just it's already worth money now. Like, yeah. there, there's really no reason why that, that stupid fucking cunt would just steal his goddamn squint like that yeah shit's really kind of fucking pissing me off for real now that he, i think about it he, like, des- he deserves one because he did a little bit for us you know he was there for, yeah for ver- he was there for he was there for some you remember he used to do a lot of the editing on there and then he was like he would no skin no skin so then ross would also listen back to the episodes and give feedback on them yeah dude. you know yeah and uh and i mean he was always coming up with like logo ideas and like yeah you know like branding ideas and merch ideas and well yeah. you know like i mean we really <laughs> we've really taken a hit since he's left uh i'm just yeah. <laughs> you know we then said we wasn't gonna do this and it always gets brought up anyway <laughs> But no, no, dude. Uh, mental health skin, Ross. You know, just drop us a line. You know, we yeah. also could drop you a line. I tried to get Justin to, but he, him's too scared. I was a scared because, buddy. What the fuck? <laughs> that. Oh, I think Lucius. That is- better be Luskin, because if not, I better start filming. Because you got Paranormal Activity 2023 skin. <laughs> And buddy, I'm gonna, I'm filming. So just uh, hold on. What the fuck? Now it stopped. Spirit, <laughs> are you in here, skin? Buddy, did Ross die? And we just don't know it. And he was just a pissed off. He was over there like, I've got a, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> like, Hold on, skin. Do I need to go investigate? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, it's really happening, guys. I like my ghost. <laughs> I said I like you, ghost. <laughs> you ought to be like... With your stupid ass. Stupid egg. Dog. No, I stopped filming. What the fuck, dude? Hold on. <laughs> it's just a going. All right. Hey. Well, 
Guys, we want to welcome our next guest. Uh, real, real third, third billing energy. Uh, <laughs> come here, skin. <laughs> come here, skin. Hell yeah. <laughs> Guys, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the main stage. <laughs> that, that little Eric Lucius. <laughs> hey, hey, Shoeless. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put, I'm going to make him say the N word. <laughs> 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 well, Eric. <laughs> you remember that shit? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, man. You're going to hey, have to remind me <laughs> yeah. about hey, that. Hey, Luskin. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. All right. Keep. No, like, I want to be Mental Health Skin for a minute. Um, uh, um, huh. Um, hmm. Big things are happening, and uh, I don't know what to think about it. And uh, um, I know we've been putting in the work, and we just are trying. We just are trying to make you guys laugh every week, Skin, and uh, every month, Skin, at shows and stuff. And, like, like Mental Health Skin, like, anybody who legitimately supported me or Corey or, bo- or both of us collectively in the last week, in the last 10 days, actually, 11 days, whatever it has been since so we had these two big shows. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, I love you guys and a lot of you fucking guys that showed up. It just brought a tear to my eye, but, it, you know, goodness. And uh, last night was fucking amazing. And we can Blair Witch it all we want, but, like, we was just, a, guys, we was just in the green room sh- swapping stories with Jim Brewer about comedy, and that's mental health skin. And that was his idea, Jim Brewer's idea. <laughs> Him just to took a picture with us where he f- held the fucking phone. And guys, we was just part of the part of the crew. And uh, we were hanging and banging with Herb. We and I just... and I know, like, I'm. Tr- I know we said we weren't going to do this, <laughs> goodness. But like, I just want to talk about it because, you know, like, it was uh, it was fucking crazy, man. Like, because we also belonged. And uh, this is like a timestamp of like. Who knows what's next? You know, Skin? Yeah. So, like, thank you guys for fucking with us if you have been. And if you're new, I mean, like, welcome. Like, thank you for being here. Uh, we've been doing this. like. Yeah, we've been acting really fucking stupid on here. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, you'll hear a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's be real, okay? You know, when you told me that thing... That bop but sip it had said to bop but sip it whenever they were talking about your facial hair, and like yeah, you know, do, do you really think that that somebody is just nutting in Joe Biden's hair that much? <laughs> <laughs> like that's a lot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe him sticks his whole head in there. Goodness, goodness, him just to stick him whole head in the urethra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I wear your skin flute like a hat? <laughs> <laughs> I really said every time you don't laugh, Joe Biden gets another year younger. <laughs> I was like, guys, who has time for that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> oh, shit. Real, like, I've noticed that Dothan is not a good place to do political. Yeah, comedy. yeah, yeah. Blair Witch the fuck out of it. I thought it was going to be a killer <laughs> opener, buddy. No, I got some laughs. I mean, no, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean I'll like, show that portion, skip you whatever. Gotta, you got to be like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. That USO show, I really thought we had something with the angles that we were going and we didn't. <laughs> um, buddy, that just was a, that was, that was a hellscape, is what that was. That was, uh, you know, shout out to whoever the fuck gave us that show, but like, you also set us up for failure. <laughs> um, it sucks. But like, it, if but you contact us to do it again, I'm also going to recommend comics for you. That might do better because they will do. This is mental health skin. They would be better for that crowd. Maybe we just weren't the type of entertainment. I don't know, buddy. Before. I'm thinking that we dress up as like cowboys and Indians or something, and we just get out there like, yeah. What's up, USO Shoskin? And we just well, no, because <laughs> like, I'm scared. Just... All right, because I'm scared if we do that, and I know where you're going. You're going to chase me on a horse. Yeah, just going. Yeah, and I'm gonna just to be running. Yeah, with the fucking headband and shit, dude. But but what I'm scared of, it's not the like, because that is kind of culturally aware, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let you know what happened. Yeah. Um, 
But like what I'm scared of is falling on that stage and skinning up my knees <laughs> because that shit just pure concrete and it's not even smooth concrete either. It was, yeah. it was just a rough. It was actually physically the biggest stage we've ever been on. Yeah, no, I know. But it made me feel like the smallest penis little loser I've ever been. Oh, yeah. So, but the audience, no, y'all were great at the USO show. Oh, yeah. Kapling. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it, dude. Like a jerk off every night thinking about it. I do too, Skin. Yeah, just like I that, just that wine bottle back there. Skin. Hey, shout out to Herb, Big Herb, for signing that wine bottle back there. Boy, Herb, I know you're like 150, buddy, but like, I hope you live another 150 because you're just a happy motherfucker, and I aspire to be like you. Yeah. We're just building up him as a legend because he fucking is. And, he buddy, is. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> buddy, I'm just going to tell you right now, <laughs> okay, on the pod, <laughs> I'm going to pay to get us a little cartoon version of Herb because I just love him that much. That's on me. All right. That's on Justin. Yeah. So like, <laughs> you know, him's just gonna be a character we use. He's like he's like turn him into a Pokemon. Oh just a my really, god. Him god. just a really old, cute Pokemon. <laughs> god <yes. laughs> Him just impervious to all attacks. Yeah. Because him's just so nice that nobody will attack him. Him's just a smiling all the time. Goodness. He was just a war veteran, goodness. Goodness. He saw a lot of <laughs> fucked up things. And him with just a smiling and laughing but last night. Fuck Squonkle, but nah. Hey man. Hey, hey Herb man. Herb might have to jump the jump the ladder skin though. We Ben said Squonkle was gonna be next. Alright, well fucking all right. shit my butt. Well, <laughs> Excuse us that we don't just have all this money <laughs> to continue Guys, to make mental health skin. Okay. Oh, oh, let's talk about squint cards for just a second. I know we've already been, but like them little Eric's are made out of uh, hemp paper. Yeah. And if you smoke them, you're, you're a dick. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but like they don't do anything. To those for of you who we gave a squint to that lit it up and burnt it out of hatred for us. Yeah. <laughs> jokes on you. <laughs> but also because, like him. Oh, go ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. Because you're you're, <laughs> you're not going to pass your drug test this month. No. Okay? <laughs> so you're also going to die. Yeah. And it's and, also got fentanyl in it. Yeah, so, and it gives you squint energy. Like, if you smoke squint cards, it's fucking over. <laughs> oh, also, like, if you want a squint card, come to a fucking show. Uh, we can talk about... Let's, we can talk about January 11th. We need to plug the fuck out of it anyway. Yeah, so, guys, we've all seen America's Got Talent. Yes. Uh, there's an amazing talent also that came from Kill Tony, and I know we do have a few crossover fans from Kill Tony. Hell yes. Uh, and so that's where I was introduced to this comedian from was Kill Tony. Uh, you guys might know him as Aaron Belial is coming yeah. to the Dothan Civic Center January 11th. Ba-dee! And, uh, yep. And, uh, guys, here's the thing. <laughs> Pow. Skating. Justin and I are both performing, Skating. opening up for him. That's right. And, uh, and so we're, we're fucking doing it, you know? Dude, um, and we fucking can't wait. Like, nope. This not, is, like, I know we're not cutting a, we are cutting a promo, but fuck it. Like, we're also just being mental health skin. <laughs> yeah, no, this is real. This is the real deal. This I is think not he's going to be, I think he's going to be a killer, dude. I Don't think. be surprised if he pops up on our channel. So yeah. subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> I hope so, man. He, that, I, I, I think he's going to be the coolest fucking guy. Yep. And I'm not just saying that because he's got a disability. <laughs> he just laughs through it all. <laughs> I know you're thinking I'm trying to pop you. Maybe I am. <laughs> Guys, he's not. Both mom did. Okay. He's a software engineer. <laughs> he's super fucking awesome. And uh, I just can't wait to blow him. That's the biggest thing. And I just want to tell him, like, <laughs> I also want to. He, he writes good jokes. I also want to know if his dick curls. Maybe it does, man. Maybe that. Maybe it's like, oh, maybe he's a wife stealer. You know? No, I meant like his hand. I know what you mean. Oh. But like, maybe it's like a ooh. I never knew a dick could do that. Maybe it's like one of them. Uh, you know, them little like I. I have some kind of vivid memory of some claymation bug, and it had this long like, fucking like, and and it went. Like it was his, its nose or something, yeah. like one of those party blowers. No, it's like a like a chameleon's tongue or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, and like, what if that's what it does? You know, it's, yeah. it's just a it just a bent up like this. Yeah, but then it but then it. 
I don't know. I think he get. I think he smashes puss left and right, dude. That's probably why he's laughing so much is to clear his mouth out of all the stank pussy smell. Yeah, dude. He's like, I really should have popped a breath mint. <laughs> yeah, cause I like throwing tic tac in here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it in my general direction, Skin. All right. I'll catch it, I promise. Yeah. You want to see a party trick? <laughs> hey, mental dick. health, Skin, I'm going to be like, here goes you a bit right here, buddy. <laughs> Say that you were eating so much ass last night <laughs> that you <laughs> <laughs> that your breath just a stank and you want somebody to throw you a mint and just go. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then be like, but I also know I don't really need a breath mint because I got no reason to talk. <laughs> My phone needs a breath mint. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, Aaron Belisle, give us a mirror. <laughs> hey, buddy. Shout out to technology giving him the fucking ability to even do that shit, dude. He also created it. Did it. Do you think he did? He did. No, he said he did. <laughs> I think he... I don't want to Blair Witch... I don't want to give too much away, but I'll just say I think he's got a good bank of preset stuff, and then he's just quick... At, he's quick draw with, like you know actually writing stuff and it works man like because people want to give him the attention like that's the thing like it, didn't you say i think you were telling me or or i heard it somewhere else but he was saying that they were asking him uh in an interview i can't, can't remember where like does it is is it a problem like this the pause that it takes to sometimes get get out a joke mm-hmm. and he said actually i think comedically the timing is perfect because they're waiting so much that they they're just ready to laugh. Yeah, and I think he's unlocked something there that like I hope no motherfucker tries to like Im- mimic like fakely, but like I don't know if he owns that shit, but like he might be the first comic to do that shit for real. Yeah, well, aside from that time that Stephen uh, <laughs> Stephen Hawking just wouldn't stop fucking yeah. like. Remember he tried to do that shit. It was around. Yeah, I forgot it, about that. Yeah, and he was on stage, and he just really would not stop talking about the Japanese people. Yeah, <clears throat> and I mean, like, dude, I know you were around for Pearl Harbor, but like, yeah. buddy, <laughs> they made that little keyboard panel that you're just a, you're just a typing all your racial slurs in. Yeah, dude. And so, he but was, he but, was saying all kinds of <clears throat> shit like like fucking sushi heads. Yeah, uh, it was shit that didn't even make sense yeah, he, either. He's a like, bitter fuck. He's weird because he was like, I remember him going, oh, no, Godzilla made you look. And it's yeah. like, dude, like, come on, man. Come on, like, buddy. Dude, buddy, that's unnecessary. Buddy, come on, man. Like, I I really I really hope that your wheelchair is rolling over in its grave right now. Yeah. Because, dude... Fuck quantum physics wait, for a second. Wait, hold on. Stephen Hawking is dead? <laughs> Leia. <laughs> no. That's what him that what him look like him just a sec. <laughs> <laughs> him just a him just a will always just a like <laughs> Buddy, you can't afford dental work? <laughs> like what's going on? <laughs> My name is Jock Law. <laughs> I like uh, Carnalingus. <laughs> oh, my, wa- <laughs> my, wa- my wife, not so much. <laughs> That's going in a set, uh, motherfucker. That's a bit right there, boy. I don't give a fuck who you are. This is why we love doing the pod, dude. We be pulling so much shit from the pod on stage, and it Buddy, works. <laughs> we forgot to fucking talk about the fact that we were on the fucking news. <laughs> 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 because you know we talked about that on the news, which I'll show you guys right fucking here, skin. <laughs> Happening tomorrow night, the Dothan Civic Center is expected to be filled with laughter. A comedy show is coming to town, starring an area comic and one Saturday Night Live alum. Here's News 4's McKenna Nobles with what you can expect. It's always the right time to laugh, and one local rising star will be taking the stage alongside a comedy name you may know. I'm joined by Corey Bigby and Justin Woodward, two local comics. And Justin Woodward, you're ahead of a great honor in the world of funny. You're performing alongside a star from Saturday Night Live, Jim Brewer. Can you start by maybe telling us about your show? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, it's, uh, it's, again, tomorrow night at Civic Center. 
uh, 7.30. Uh, Jim is a, as most people know, he's an SNL alum. Um, he, he was in a lot of great movies, great comic. Um, so I'm going to be opening up the show and Corey is actually hosting the show. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's super cool. And then how did you and Jim meet? So I think that's more of like a Corey answer. So we, <laughs> we've, uh, we've just created a scene here and, uh, and a lot, we've got a lot of talent and I kind of spearheaded the behind the scenes part of it. Uh, and I happened to, to get in touch with a couple of people that knew some people. You know, it's all about networking and, and people coming out, seeing you, seeing that you're talented and wanting to take a chance on you. Have you all know? done a few performances before around Dothan? Around Dothan, we do uh, quite a few, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several in the Wiregrass area. Uh, there's a Facebook page, Wiregrass Area Comedy. And Wiregrass Comedy, yeah. Wiregrass Comedy, and that is uh, where people can find all of the open mic shows, the the put together shows, you know, the, our bar shows versus our big our bigger shows. So, uh, but we we've kind of made this scene. We've made it really in the past year just blow up. That's amazing. And yeah. then, could you tell us one of the last questions I have for you? How would you say have you brought comedy to the Wiregrass? We just started doing it. <laughs> well, we, we love comedy. Uh, yeah. We The first thing that I wanted to do was like do the whole podcast thing. So we did the Dead Mom Club. That's the name of our pod. Thank you. That's um, your own squint. Cute. <laughs> yeah. That's our squint card, yep. you know, limited, limited edition. edition. <laughs> no big <Blanks>. deal. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, so that kind of drove us to, we were constantly thinking about comedy, constantly trying to get on shows, make our own shows. And it's really evolved a lot to the point where we're starting to see it pay off and the audiences are just getting bigger. Well, it sounds like y'all are going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. As you guys can see right now on your screen, it is tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. And SNL alumni Jim Brewer will be there. And thank you guys again for so much for coming on. Hey, thank awesome. you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Of course, good luck tomorrow, Thank y'all. Thank you. <laughs> There's also a video link on you, on our YouTube about you it. You just but put it in there as a fucking ad. I don't give a shit. Yeah. An oh. ad of a show that's already happened. <laughs> Guys. Well, I mean, it's it's like, I think people who fuck with the pod would be like, hell yeah. Like, yeah, if, no, and we if you're not local, that's a big, that's a that's the news station here. That's true. It, but like, they also wouldn't let us be funny. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that's very true. It, if you were like, God, these trying, guys suck. Like, I'm not trying to throw McKenna under the bus, <laughs> but like... <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> baby when, girl. Baby girl, when you invite two comedians on the news yeah. <laughs> and then you tell them that they can't be funny but they need to be <laughs> affirmative, <laughs> just know that it's not going to be a good time, all right, for anybody involved. <laughs> and girl, don't ask questions <laughs> that you don't know are, are even fucking true to begin with. <laughs> and also, baby girl, please, okay, <laughs> don't introduce an event and then ask us to also introduce the event. <laughs> Hey because, guys, could you just repeat what I just said, yeah. but in your words? Because as you've seen in the clip, they're like, first the announcer says it, like the, the pre-anchor says it, yeah, and then McKenna says it, and then she's like, so what's going on tomorrow night? <laughs> 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 we, were, we were like, yeah, uh, well, uh, Jim Brewer skin. <laughs> tomorrow at 7.30. Yeah. <laughs> you guys aren't even watching unless we clip it and put it on our own. <laughs> fucking Facebook. Shout out WTVY. No, we fucks with y'all WTVY, uh, even though y'all could never acknowledge this. I'm we glad. fucks with y'all. Bye. Uh, yeah, y'all are the lyrics. Bye. Yeah, yeah, hey, y'all are John Sprinkle. John Sprinkle. WTVY Sprinkle. Yeah, is this weird? I'm not, I can't. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. It's Jim Brewer skin. <laughs> You know, my buddy, Jim Brewer. <laughs> um, buddy. All right, you go first. Do you have any points? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Do you, do you have any points? <laughs> Hell yeah. Is it my turn? Left. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs>
my wife when her boyfriend lets me. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. My Uncle Toby won't stop texting me. I gotta get out of here. I'm Justin Woodward. Thank you. Y'all keep it going for Justin Woodward, everybody. Hey, right quick, all right, let me just address the elephant in the room and no, I'm not talking about myself.